Hey, everybody. Welcome to Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here at the Miserable Liberal and Ron Placone. Hi, Jimmy. Hello. So the Democrats had a blue wave. It was very nice. Uh, the Michigan governor, who she won, uh, she's a Democrat. She beat Rick Snyder, who's that horrible guy who uh, did the uh, Flint po- water poisoning. So they got rid of him. They brought in a new uh, female governor of Michigan. Uh, she appointed the CEO of Blue Cross of Michigan to her transition team. Thanks for voting Democrat. Now, get this. In Denver, in Colorado, the Democrats took over the legislature. Look at that. With legislative control, how will Colorado Dems approach business policy? This is from the Denver Business Journal. Well, David Sirota, who's, oh, who lives in Colorado, his wife, I think, just won uh, her thing. Isn't she a congressperson now? He says Colorado Dems won the legislature on a promise to finally pass Democratic bills like paid sick leave that were blocked by the GOP Senate. Days after the election, Democrats say they may water down those bills now that they have the power to pass them. This is from the article. It says, uh, Zensinger and other Democrats have said many of those bills will come back, but they will be negotiated more with business leaders now that they look likely to pass rather than to die in a Senate committee. It's right there. That those bills are going to come back, but they will be negotiated with business leaders now that they look likely to pass rather than to die in a Senate committee. And Representative Tracy Kraft Tharp, an Arvadia Democrat who is considered to be the most pro-business Democrat at the legislature, said Tuesday, for example, that she is already working on a wide group of stakeholders to come up with a paid family leave bill that businesses will not consider to be an onerous one-size-fits-all solution that stops them from coming to agreements with their employees on a case-by-case basis. My job will be to find common ground to be able to work with both the Republicans and the Democrats, Kraft Tharp said. That's not what people voted for. And do you see what suppresses the vote for for Democrats? This is what, not the Green Party, not Jill Stein, not Susan Sarandon, this. They vote in Democrats because they want those policies, and Democrats go, guess what? We're also corrupt. So now we're gonna do we're gonna actually do what the Republicans wanted. Remember when you, the Republicans had control, they wouldn't do a goddamn thing we wanted. And now we're gonna do everything they want. That's what suppresses the vote. And that's what's happening right now in Congress. Now the Democrats are getting behind Nancy Pelosi. In Congress, as a as the leader, they're not even having someone run against her. This well, is happening. This well, go ahead. Well, I was just going to point out. Not only is this not what people want, but they're they're not even doing what they say they're doing. They're they're talking about finding common ground. And that paragraph above, I heard pro business and business leaders yes. mentioned a bunch of times. I don't see workers mentioned anywhere. Anywhere. No, so I me- guess they're not even at the table. So not only are you doing a watered down thing of what people want anyway, you're not even doing that. You're just giving the businesses what they want. And guess what, Jimmy? Also, according to the Denver Post, that the Democrats are firmly in control of every branch of state government in Colorado. And this is what you get. So I live in California. We have a supermajority Democrats. We have a Democratic governor, Jerry Brown. We don't have Medicare for all. We're the fifth largest economy in the world. We're the fifth largest economy in the world. So naturally you wonder, how would we pay for it? (laughs) Ha ha! Think about that. You know, uh, we have prisoners fighting our fires. Half the the people fighting the fires are prisoners because, you know, the fifth largest economy in the world. You couldn't possibly hire firefighters for this. This is what's up. This is what suppresses the vote. This is why people didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. Because they knew this was coming. This. This is why the people didn't vote in Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania for Hillary Clinton. This is the reason. 
this is here you will have you here you have it so now we have democrats in total control in, in colorado democrats in total control of california and what do we get we have to rely on ballot measures to get progressive legislation passed we have to rely on ballot measures to get medical marijuana we have to rely on ballot measures to get rent control we have to rely on ballot measures why do we have to rely on ballot measures we have complete control democrats oh that's right democrats are owned Democrats are also owned. So here, I love what uh, my friend Greg says. He says, GOP, we're in power. Let's pass the most right-wing legislation our caucus can bear. Democrats, same. Yeah, yeah, that's funny and painfully accurate at the same time. I'm depressed. That's <laughs> exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens. The Democrats pass the most right-wing legislation that the Democratic caucus will put up with. So, I, I, you know, I have to laugh, otherwise I'll slip my wrists. <laughs> the Democrats, we blue, we came out. Remember all those, all those celebrities on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram telling everybody, vote, make sure you vote. I told a bellman to vote today. I told my bartender to vote today. I made sure I told everybody to vote. Everybody came out and vote, and now they're getting it stuck in their ass. But it doesn't matter to millionaire celebrities because they don't give a fuck because none, none of this is going to affect them. They don't need a family leave act. They're millionaire celebrities. Deborah Messing doesn't need paid family leave act. She's a freaking millionaire. And they don't even know, they don't even have any idea this stuff is going on. This is why you got Trump, but everybody, this is why you got Trump. This is why you got Trump. This is why you got Trump. So now, we, so now in Colorado, they voted overwhelmingly for Democrats and they're still going to get fucked. And then a right-wing demagogue comes along who outlefts the Democrats, says, I'm going to give you health care, we're going to get rid of those immigrants taking your job, and we're going to end the wars, and then they vote for them. And then you go, well, they must be racist. No, they voted for Democrats. They didn't do anything for them. They voted for Barack Obama overwhelmingly. He gave them Mitt Romney care anyway. Didn't vote. Didn't matter who they voted for. The banks got bigger. The wars got bigger. The Bush tax cuts got made permanent. And we got Romney care anyway. And they cracked the heads of Occupy Wall Street anyway. Didn't matter who you voted for. Mitt Romney or Barack Obama. We got the same shit. Didn't matter if you voted for Bob Dole or Bill Clinton. They deregulated Wall Street, exploded the prison population, gutted welfare, and passed NAFTA. What the fuck else was Bob Dole going to do that was worse than that? Oh, privatized Social Security? Bill Clinton tried. This is the problem the Democrats aren't going to ever address. Because this means going against their... The why are they doing this? Why would, So why, when the Democrats were voted in... To, to do stuff like paid sick leave. Why won't they do it? Because their donors said not to, because they have no interest in doing it. 95% of all the congressional races go to the person who spends the most money. They're going with the most money. That's what this, the Democrats have not addressed this. In fact, the progressives are getting behind the biggest corporate money grabber in all of Congress, Nancy Pelosi. Right now, the, the progressives are vowing to support her, not run against her, not hold her feet to the fire, to support her. The progressives in Congress, Pramila J. Prell, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, they're all supporting Nancy Pelosi for speaker. This is the shit. And what has Nancy Pelosi vowed? She's vowed to kill Medicare for all. She's vowed to keep the wars going. That's what the Democrats are doing exactly. <laughs> this is a, this I, honest. I would slip my wrist if I don't laugh at this. <laughs> well, it's one of those things. Whenever I point out, it's like we have two right wing parties, and that's it. And if I honestly believed that that represented our populace, if that represented the population, I would just be like, man, I guess I really live in a country where not many people think like me. I guess, man, I hope that changes someday. 
But that doesn't represent the population at all. It represents the business interest of a few. And now we're seeing that play out once again. I mean, really, we need a, a representative of the people to go and speak to the businesses to make sure that they They're get a fair de- they deal. They get a fair. They get a fair shake. It doesn't say anything about what people want. Like nothing. Like that paragraph doesn't even. It's just like, well, we got to get the business leaders' take on this. Why? Why do we have to get their take on it? But when so now that these bills were killed by the GOP, now the Democrats have control of the legislature. Those bills are going to come back, but they will be negotiated more with business leaders. <laughs> and um, so I'm holding the progressive politicians feet to the fire. And we will be attacked for that. And if you want to defend, and if you want to defend this shit show of corporatism, uh, that's that's good. Good. I don't want to be in your fucking club. I'm not in politics. I come from nightclubs. I'm a jag off nightclub comedian, and uh, I don't. I'm not beholden to anybody, and I don't want access. I'm. That's not what I'm about. I'm about telling the truth and holding politicians' feet to the fire. And uh, watch people attack us for doing this. They attack David Sirota all the time for doing the same thing. And Glenn Greenwald. Um, well, uh, uh, we'll see what happens. This is horrible. We need a real revolution. And uh, those who make peaceful revolution impossible, these corporate Democrats, make violent revolution inevitable. Who said that? JFK. <laughs> Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support. Mm